and welcome back. I'm starting right where I left off. We got a nice 600,000 EUs. I don't understand what's using the power. Oh, it'll be the farm. Yes. Ooh, the farm. Ooh. Yes, I'm right in. Uh, last episode, we, we found out we're going to need a bit more fertilizer. Actually, I should just be able to do it on this. Mm, that's not as cheap as this. Oops. Started building the wrong one. Yeah, don't mash click through this inventory. It doesn't work much, but two more. What? Oh, I, I don't want a wooden gear. Rats. That's okay. I will take them, I guess. Ugh. Got some bone meal now, I ain't got no space to store it, that's my chest full. Wonderful. I ain't got no place to put it in. Oh, uh, it's night time, let's go sleep, and we'll put the fertilizer in the machine. And then, I guess start building. I want to try and build a coke oven, which will get me coal coke. Which somehow I need that for blast furnace. Hang on, let me let me just look at this. Right, so steel bore head requires lots of steel and steel ingots. To get those, you need coal coke in a blast furnace. Makes sense, right? Um, that's why we need the coal coke. Oh no, apparently you can use charcoal too. Well, we might as well make the coal coke for rails, actual minecarts. Might get into that at some point. Uh, maybe we can incorporate those into the let's play somewhere. I'm not really sure where though, but let's look up blast furnace brick. Okay, you need a magma cream, which is strange, I guess. Four nether brick and four soul sand. Well, we got those. Sounds lucky. <laughs> I guess your blast furnace brick. Blast furnace brick. What's this? Infernal brick. Well, how do I make infernal brick? It's the same, but without magma cream. So which is cheaper then? That uses 5 and 4 to get 4. That uses 4 and 4, but magma cream. I guess that's cheaper because we can transmute magma creams. Uh, I should remember that because I did actually make some. As you can see here, blast furnace brick and coke oven brick. I don't actually remember the size of a blast furnace. If you don't know what I'm talking about the coke oven you have to actually build it um, as a structure and then it'll just sort of snap into um, a str I'll show you. you kind of start building with it and then when you've done and you've built the structure correctly it sort of just creates the thing I'm not explaining it very well I know that I'm gonna clear these trees out. I'll be right back. And done. There we go. Well, until the leaves decay, we're not done. Let's see, it's all on. Blast and cope of bricks. The blast furnace is the ultimate goal for. I believe it's a 3x3. Three three. Um, do you leave the middle open? Perhaps? So, if our path is here, no, I'm probably going to exp... Why am I walking backwards? My keyboard keeps jamming to me. It's not a keyboard, it's techies. I don't know what's wrong with it. But, the path will probably go here. So I'll expand that one more. Come on. So I guess, like, here is good, under the tree. Let's build one. I believe you just do this. I may be completely wrong. Ah, well that's wrong. So I'll 3 by 3 Luckily it's easy to break. 3 by 3 by 3 Get out of my head, leaves. <sighs> Those leaves are really irritating me. You're annoying, leaves. No. Oh. Wait, maybe. I might have been wrong. How many high is this? 
Uh, let, me, let me look this up. I was close, I was very close. Um, it is a 3x3. Three three. You just leave the hole. Middle in the hole in the middle. I actually had the perfect amount of stones for that. Alright, so we have a coat oven. Now, I do warn you. As of yet, I've kind of at least known what I'm doing with this stuff. I've said, okay, today we're doing this, we're building that, this is how you do it. I don't know anything about railcraft. I don't know what the rails are, how you make them, I just know they're incredibly expensive. But we do this, we make this structure, and I don't think I ever showed you how to make those bricks. Silly me. Okay, so, coke oven bricks, that's all. This is bricks and sand. Five sand, four bricks, one brick. Coke oven brick, that is. Of course, if you never knew how to make some of it, and I forget to mention it, Simply just press O on in your inventory and search it and press R. It's very simple. Of course, this is intruding on the land I was hoping to build the, uh, the like, lava storage facility thing. But what do we do? We might click on it. And we put... Um, you know, I don't even know. Well, it was refined iron, wasn't it? Well, steel. We put steel in. Was it charcoal or coal? No, this makes coal fuel. Hmm. Silly, 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 silly me. You just put coke in it. Yeah. Brain. Brain, please start working. You just put coal in it. And it works fine. Coal will be in these chests over here. There we go. Not charcoal too. Let's just take a bunch of coal. I do understand that this thing is incredibly expensive to get worth it. Uh, sticky lens. Rubber tree sapling. Rubber wood. I, I understand that to make the actual rails of railcraft, you need to put a lot of time and effort into this stuff. Uh, looks like we grew pumpkins over there again. Wonderful. That random seed bag thing we got was simply rubbish. Now you also get creosote oil from it, which is used to create the wood for the rail beds. Let's see how long this takes. Oh my, it takes a very long time. Wow. Oh dear. Now it's my understanding, and again I may be wrong, they can use minecarts to pull out the creosote oil, which is here, and the coal. I may be completely wrong, but it's basically a way to automate it, since you need this running for hours on end, it seems. So about, what, what was that, seven minutes into the episode? Yeah. About halfway through. We'll let that thing do its thing. I figure out what the heck I'm going to do next, then, since I've taken some. Let me look up the blast furnace, then. Alright, I'm back. We need 36 wrong chest, 36 soul sand, 36 nether brick, and 9 magma creams. And uh, this will allow us to create a blast furnace, which is a 3x3x4 structure. And that's what we're going to need for our refined iron. Now it takes 3 minutes for one thing to be done, and with this. Oh, we're going to need to get some gems and stuff, obviously. Now, also, sorry about that. also, while looking it up, apparently, you don't need to use these loaders and unloaders, which is good, because I really have no idea what they are. None at all. I've not done anything with Railcraft, so it's going to be fun to experience Railcraft with you guys. But uh, apparently you can use Buildcraft pipes. Coal and stuff goes in the top. Um, your products come out the side and Crew oil comes out the bottom. It's treated as one solid block, apparently. So you need 36 of these things. Here we go. I'm going to use all my gems now. Oh, that's 64. We just need 36. Uh, there we go. That back in. 
Oh. Yeah, just 36. So Mm. Oh, I'm piling them up. Let's go our rubies back. Boom. Yeah, what else can we get? Uh, I guess some obsidian might not be bad, or some copper. Let's get some... Uh... Uh... What is most valuable here? Apples, maybe. No, food source. There's some apples. Oh, I've got one. Uh, torches. Wood. Flint. There we go. No EMC. Ooh. That is a pain to sort out. Now, we got all this rubbish building up in our inventory again. We already had some blast flames break, so we actually don't need that much. Oh, I forgot the magma creams. Silly me. You know, I'm only going to do this on camera. Alright, we got that. We also, with it, got two slime balls and three tin. You know. That's why I like the energy condenser. It seems much more suitable for our needs. So we have what we need. This is going to give us exactly what we need for the... Oh, there we go. Exactly what we need. So we can put this over four back. Actually. Yeah. Let's go sleep. And in the last five minutes we're going to go to the blast furnace. Oops, that's not a bed. On sleep on that. Now then, while well, reading up on this stuff I have no idea about, apparently it's very, very, very wise to build more than one of these. But it requires like several hundred blocks of sand and brick. So what I'm going to do is probably line the coke ovens along here. So that will be one, two, three, space one, two, three. Yeah, that fits very nice. I expand that. Space one, two, three. So this uh, we'll have like four here, so we could just build a blast furnace right next to them. We'll build them two blocks apart. We do it three by three, so the platform, and you go up. Don't build in the middle. And you go up. Now these bricks may look nice, but do not use them as a decorative purpose. These bricks update themselves regularly to check if they're a finished product, I suppose you could say. There we go, got a blast furnace. Woohoo! Um, so if you use them as a decorative purpose, your performance is going to go down, because these bricks will check themselves like, am I a blast furnace yet? So, as you know, we put charcoal or coal coke in here and iron in there, we got refined iron, so we did it! I'm proud of myself. I figured out some railcraft stuff. It's not much, but I have no idea about railcraft. I know it's very handy. Once you get into it and once you know it, very good skill to know because these rails are very, very good. Like elevator rails would work in so many situations. These rails that you can get are just perfect for my needs, really. You basically you just get what you want. Just use this charcoal for a start. Do you have any coal cook? Yeah, four. So yeah, these rails are very, very good. You can use them in a lot of different circumstances. Definitely worth investing in. I know they're worth it. I just have no idea what I'm doing. We put our iron in there. Oh wow! Oh, you need a lot of charcoal. I'm gonna bung that in before, because I don't think I'm gonna catch it. Ah, there we go. Ah, see, if you use charcoal, it's not as efficient as coal coke. Now, of course, we don't actually have any. There you go. Two more coal coke. I hope this thing don't explode. It is a blast furnace. I hope this thing don't, like, go heat and blow up. But my plan is, we'll use build craft, and we'll pipe coal coke out of there, into here, and creoso out into the chest. And we'll put coal, uh, coal, what's it coal? We'll put coal in here and the iron in here. I, guess, I suppose I could use the mine cards, but like I said, I really don't know how they work. Let's put that charcoal in there. Would it be enough? Would it be enough? Would it be enough? Would it be enough? Yes! So we only got four, 
Now I... Okay, now I understand why you will go with an iron forehead. Which still requires refined iron. Let's see, iron forehead. There's steel, iron. Yeah, you need eight steel and block of iron, whereas a refined iron... Sorry, steel. You just need twice as much. So, yeah, you're harming the use, but you're probably harming the effect. It's a block of diamond? How'd you make this thing, anyway? Two blocks of steel, two furnaces, two minecarts, and chest minecart. Well, that's good, then, because we didn't need these blocks of steels to make it. We got given it. That's very good. Um, I'm gonna... Oops. I... No. 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 I'm gonna set things up for next episode. The automation of that place. And I'll see you then. I don't know when the next recording will be. I don't want to record too much. I've got quite a big backlog of videos since I've not been uploading very frequently. Uh, my apologies for that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it very informative. Now, with this information, you can, you too can get into a railcraft. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, like a favourite if you enjoyed. Well, you don't have to favourite. Well, just like it if you liked it. You will like it. You... I wish I had a face cam. I am staring right into your soul right now. Right now. Damn straight. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.